anymore, George. What are you doing at seven o'clock in the morning? Why are you getting up now? Have you forgotten? <sighs> Come back to bed. You know I was going to have a lie in this morning. The first in years, then you go and set your alarm for seven o'clock. What am I going to do now? I'm wide awake. And don't be in there all day. I've got to use the loo. The one downstairs doesn't flush properly. Never has done. And that can be your first job today. Betty's husband at number 52. He's retired. And she says he's become very handy at fixing things. They said it was going to rain today, but it won't. They never get it right. Pretty girls with tiny waists, that's what they are. You never see a fat one on the telly talking about the weather, do you? Auntie Maisie knew when it was going to rain. It was her knees. They swell up like golf balls. And I don't know why you're looking at that phone. No one's going to call you at this hour. Why doesn't this door have a handle? And what are you doing in there? I'm going to the supermarket later and I need you to help me with the shopping. And what are you going to do? Are you going to find yourself another job? Open this door, my bunions are killing me. Sit down. What have you been doing in here? Are you going to fix that loo? And what about the shopping? And who put this chair in the middle of the room? You've been acting very... Hello, emergency services. Can I help you? Please help me. My wife's just killed herself. <laughs> 